coppers. All these SCVs now transferring over to these minerals since they have nowhere else to go. Vikings moving out, making sure that he has vision. Not a huge ground army here, uh, but he does have four tanks, some marines and marauders. I would have loved to see him push out, but unfortunately, he's not. Uh, not a lot of marines, a lot of tanks, but not enough Vikings to hold off. Red Paul's Viking uh, playing very, very passively. I would love to see another command center going up. Yes, now he's building at this expansion here. Trying to get back on two bases. It doesn't look like he's going to retake his main since there weren't many minerals left here anyway. I can't say I blame him for that. And, oh, Vikings getting caught. More of them disintegrating. Needs to pull him back. Oh, man, that hurts a lot. Paul completely losing air superiority by taking out that main command center. I don't know if that was really worth it. There weren't that many minerals left there anyway. Getting double armory so he can start getting uh, double upgrades. Maybe that will help him a lot. I don't think I've seen any upgrades come out of Red Paul at all. That could be a mistake and cost him a lot later. Uh, getting uh, air weapons as well. So, so he's not just upgrading vehicles, upgrading weapons on both. So maybe even throw down another two uh, armories so you can really get your upgrades going. A lot of siege tanks, marauders, marines. Pretty scary. He needs to just go ahead and salvage this bunker. It's not serving any real purpose. Uh, I'm not seeing any more Viking production coming from Red Paul, so that's kind of surprising. He's going to poke over here and see what he can see. Uh, marines running to intercept. And I'm just using that more as a scouting force. Needs to send these back and get them repaired. That would help a lot. This expansion is now up and running. He did transfer some SCPs up here. That's always a good idea. Orbital Command up and running here. He does need to upgrade this, however, to stop building SCVs out of it. Those Orbital Commands are huge. It gives you lots of scans, which can be helpful if you do not have air superiority, which he may be losing due to the fact that he's not building a whole lot of Vikings. He's only got nine on my quick count but Paul does still only have eight so still has a minor air superiority but he's coming out with more two more Vikings they both are so keeping it about even it looks like a purple Paul is pushing out here maybe just to take this expansion here always a good idea to move your force out and then expand but uh not sure what this SCV is doing uh, just running around. Oh no, Paul's taking a hidden expansion down here. This could pay off huge for him since they are in close positions and I haven't seen uh, Red Paul ex explore the map at all. Take one of these Vikings just fly over all the expansions real quick every now and then just so you can keep an eye out for things like this because they are huge when they get up and running and run just for free and never have to worry about being harassed at all. And look at that big Congo line of SCVs going down there to transfer down there. Very, very nice. Ooh, looks like we're going to have a huge, huge standoff here. We'll see who's going to come out of this ahead. Oh, there it goes, splattering the Marine. And the Vikings are going to come over. But I'd like to see a missile turret go down right about here to help protect his tanks. I don't know if he has any SCVs with him. He does not. I would like to see, yep, look at that. Missile turret's going down very nice to help uh, protect against the... Oh, and Viking engagement one. Oh, and splatter, 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 splatter. Oh, all those guys dying so... Uh, just so nasty with these siege tanks. Viking engagements going back and forth. This is really the key part of this battle right here. Purple Paul does have a lot of Vikings. He is up to 12. Uh, Red Paul is also at 12. Needs to be repairing his Vikings, so that could be the difference. Uh, scanning Paul to see where he is at. Uh, looks like he is in range of these missile towers, so he needs to push him back a little bit. Needs to move these siege tanks up a little bit. This is actually not ideal placement for these siege tanks. I'd like to see these siege tanks in front of the bunkers. Uh, moving his forces over here, maybe to flank Paul. Is he going to stem his marauders and run in? Ooh, this will that could be a major, major fight. The Vikings are all the way over here for some reason. Giving himself some vision stimming them over here trying to take out these tanks one tank goes down look at how fast these uh, marauders melt due to all these tanks not of an effective push at all the vikings come in here's the missile turrets to help defend them off though 
just needs to move close enough so he can see those missile turrets but it's such a delicate delicate position now Paul is starting to throw up uh, missile towers is throwing up a, a sensor tower as you can see Paul does have the collector's edition he has a very cool looking Thor and here's a huge engagement that Thor is going to help against these Vikings pushing forward with his infantry needs to watch out there are key, uh, no there is not that many tanks I could have kept pushing. Needs to leapfrog these tanks forward a little bit more, placing down a bunker over here. Very excellent position on that. Paul's in a very, very, very nice position right here. And he's got this hidden expansion over here with an orbital command. I disagree with these supply depots, though. That's, those are very, very, very vulnerable. However, I guess this entire thing is fairly vulnerable, but the planetary fortress helps defend against it. I do love the sensor tower that lets him keep track of any movement trying to sneak out of the base. Uh, these Vikings are coming over here to see what they can see. Uh, I don't know why he's keeping his Vikings all the way over here. He needs to keep pumping out some Vikings. I do like the addition of the Thor, though. That is a nice touch. He is at 2-0 and 2-0. Uh, and what is he for the air? Oh. His Vikings are coming around here to land in the back. I think this is kind of dangerous. The Vikings are at 1-1, destroying some of the... So, it looks like these Vikings are going to go over here, and Paul needs to lift these off very, very quickly so that he doesn't... Uh, go to force this orbital command to lift off. Yes, and now those Vikings are stuck. Going to have to cause some of these troops to come back, and is he going to push forward with this army while the rest of the army has to pull back? These Vikings just chilling out over here, not wanting to rise up and get absolutely wrecked by these Vikings. This was a kind of a risky proposition for Paul. Moving through the base now, going to start destroying some of these uh, uh, supply depots is what he should be aiming for. That can be a very key point, but he does have plenty of supply depots. Now the army's coming up here. I would love to see this uh, purple army push forward, but no, it's not. So these Vikings are just running around. They're going to be completely doomed. Um, uh, this gives Red Paul complete air superiority yet again. Um, purple Paul having air superiority or air contention and then just giving it away for free. This is the second time he's done this. And I'm surprised not to see any real pushing going on from Purple Paul towards the front. I thought that's why he caused those Vikings to go back. But no, it doesn't appear to be. Red Paul scanning forward. He needs to watch out a little bit. And oh man, all those SCVs that are trying to repair it getting absolutely demolished. It looks like Purple Paul is now pushing in. And he's I'm not sure these forces need to get back here quickly. This Thor is doing lots of damage to everything. Here comes another ground wave trying to end the game. Oh no, the Vikings are landing and the siege tanks are in range. What is he doing? And, uh, lifting them up very quickly, realizing that he needs to do something besides that. No, no, land them on top of the Vikings. Oh, mate, the Vikings taking so much damage they don't need to be. Red Paul giving up his air superiority completely in that. Not upgrading his units, also hurting them a lot as these Vikings are now 1 1 and the red Vikings are 0 0. Oh, such a. Landing those Vikings in range of the tanks twice was such a mistake, making the Vikings take so much damage, completely giving those Vikings up. I don't think they helped enough. I think these siege tanks would have been enough to hold off any uh, attack. This siege tank is now in range of the orbital command, so it will start bombing it as soon as it gets vision, which it should soon, because there are definitely more purple Vikings. Red currently not producing anything at all. Uh, purple still getting more upgrades, ship level 2 and vehicle plating 1. That will be huge. Needs to just fly these Vikings up a little bit further so that this tank can start firing them leapfrogging a couple of his tanks forward. Oh, here comes a push over here. He sees that it's weak at this point right now. Very good timing to take out these forces right here. He needs to come over here and take out the rest of these siege tanks. No, don't run away. You can push him. Uh, but however, here comes another wave of troops from Purple Paul. Him being on two bases with uh, Red Paul being on zero. I think this will be GG for Red Paul. I don't think he can pull away from this. Uh, just not enough units, two Vikings, no upgrades going up for Red Paul. Purple Paul's upgrades treating himself very well with those. Absolutely no mining going on at all for Red Paul anywhere. Red Paul sighing, knowing that he has now lost the game. Looks like Purple Paul did take this victory. Going to push in here and end the game now, it looks like. Needs to stim these Marauders. He never got stim on his Marauders. Oh, man, how did I miss that? Oh, uh, that... That could have been helpful in a case like that. You stim up your marauders, you run them up to the tanks, you destroy the tanks in like two seconds. Red Paul having absolutely no bases left at this point. Uh, not much can go on. Paul GG's 
and that is the conclusion to the finals of my tournament. Uh, the random purple Paul taking first place, and I think the thing we can take most away from this, I don't land your Vikings. The reason you have them is to maintain air superiority. Don't use them for harassment or things like that. I've lost many games, such as uh, Red Paul did here. I'm not sure that landing the Vikings lost him the game, but it definitely helped speed up the end of it. Uh, Purple Paul also had a couple times where he had air superiority and landed to do some economic damage. I don't think that was the best of ideas. And then you have this very vulnerable expansion in the back. Uh, I, I, I've never liked hidden expansions, but it's the gamble that can pay off a big. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching the entire, uh, not the entire tournament, but the third place and the finals of my tournament. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. I will be uh, running... A new tournament here shortly. Keep an eye out on my webpage at shoutcaststrategy.com, and I will be posting info relatively soon. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.